Top 10 Facts About Abu Simbel Number 1, Abu Simbel is located in southern Egypt, near the border with Sudan. It was originally situated on the west bank of the Nile River, but was relocated in the 1960s to avoid the rising waters of Lake Nasser. Number 2, Abu Simbel was built by Pharaoh Ramses II in the 13th century BC as a symbol of his power and prestige. The two temples that make up the site were carved from solid rock, and depict scenes from Egyptian mythology and military conquests. Number 3, there are two temples at Abu Simbel, the larger of which is dedicated to Ramses II, while the smaller is dedicated to his wife, Queen Nefertari. The temples were built to commemorate the pharaoh's victory at the Battle of Kadesh, and the façade of the larger temple is adorned with four 20-meter-high statues of Ramses II. Number 4, the larger of the two temples at Abu Simbel is known as the Sun Temple, due to its alignment with the sun. Twice a year, on February 22 and October 22, the sun's rays illuminate the interior of the temple, illuminating the statue of the pharaoh in the inner sanctum. Number 5, in the 1960s, the temples of Abu Simbel were threatened by the rising waters of Lake Nasser, created by the construction of the Aswan High Dam. The temples were relocated to a new site on higher ground a feat of engineering that involved cutting the temples into thousands of blocks, and reassembling them, in their new location. Number 6, the façade of the Sun Temple is adorned with four massive statues of Ramses II, each standing 20 meters tall. The statues are carved in a unique style, with the pharaoh depicted in a stylized manner that emphasizes his power and majesty. Number 7, the inner sanctum of the Sun Temple is lined with reliefs depicting scenes from Egyptian mythology, as well as scenes from Ramses II's military conquests. At the back of the temple is a statue of the pharaoh, seated on his throne and wearing the crown of Upper and Lower, Egypt. Number 8, the smaller of the two temples at Abu Simbel is dedicated to Queen Nefertari, and is a more modest structure than the Sun Temple. The façade of the temple is adorned with six smaller statues of the queen, while the inner sanctum is lined with reliefs depicting scenes from her life and religious ceremonies. Number 9, Abu Simbel is one of the most important archaeological sites in Egypt, and is considered a masterpiece of ancient Egyptian engineering and art. The temples at Abu Simbel are considered to be among the largest and most impressive monuments of the ancient world, and are a popular tourist destination. Number 10, Today, Abu Simbel is protected as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and efforts are underway to preserve and protect the site for future generations. In recent years, the Egyptian government has undertaken a number of initiatives to conserve the temples, including the installation of a state-of-the-art climate control system to protect the site from the harsh desert environment.